Super Pinas Breaking news mga kasuper Kinumpirma ni DOJ Remulia na totoo ang ulat na nahuli na ng mga otoridad sa Indonesia ang dalawang kasama umano ni ASQO Ngayong araw lamang ay nasa ilalim na na kustudiya ang Indonesia si Nasciela Kuo at Cassandra Ong At dahil nga ang mga daya o fake ang mga pasaporte nito ay pababalikin sila sa Pilipinas Kaninang hapon lamang ay nakarating na sila sa Naya Kitang kita sa video na tila pinagfiestahan talaga ng mga media ang pagdating ng dalawa Tila ba ay sabik na sabik ang lahat na mahuli na sila para matunto na rin ng kinaroonan ni Alice Kuo nang sa ganun ay makamit na rin ang inihintay na hustisya para sa mga naging biktima ng malaging na pupuhan Si Cassandra Lee Ong ay may kaugnayan umano kay Guo at sa Philippine Offshore Gaming Operators na Lucky South 99. Samantala, si Sheila Guo naman umano ay kapatid mismo ng pinatalsik na alkalde ng Bamban. Kasama siya sa pangalang sangkot sa inihaing arrest order ng Senado kamakailan. Ano na naman kaya ang posibleng hakbang pagkatapos ng pag-aresto sa kanila? Magiging tulay ba ang dalawang Chinese na ito para malakip na ang isa sa mga big personalities sa likod ng malagim na puguhan Yun lamang po at huwag po natin kalimutang mag-subscribe at i-like ang video ito. Panoorin po natin ang buong detalye. Welcome to the program. Good afternoon, Carmina. Good afternoon to our televiewers. How much do you welcome this latest development? Alice, uh, the sister of Alice Go, Sheila Go, and Cassandra Ong apprehended in Indonesia. And we were just talking to Secretary Abalos. He says that he has information that points to the two being back here in Manila by end of day. Senator. Well, Carmina, it goes to show that the world is becoming smaller and the long arm of the law will eventually uh, catch up with them. Um, this is a temporary setback for the country and I believe that uh, eventually all of the Go, uh, members of the Go family will be apprehended. Uh, Sheila has an outstanding order of arrest here in the Senate. So as soon as she arrives here in the Philippines, because I believe that her pa Philippine passport got cancelled, therefore she will be deported by the Indonesian government. But as soon as she arrives here in the Philippines, the Senate will take custody of her. When did you know um, that they were actually apprehended in Indonesia? Did you know before uh, the Secretary knew it? Well, we have some information, but it wasn't validated. Um, some some of the agencies uh, were uh, giving us information. However, it's, it's good that uh, the Secretary made it uh, official at, at this point. And uh, uh, the Senate is very grateful to the PNP, the enforcement agencies because now we can pursue truth and uh, um, Sheila is uh, a key figure in the Go family businesses. Uh, still, um, Senator, people are asking why did it have to happen? I mean, even the president is dumbfounded that the escape happened. Um, was there an HDO? Was there a lookout bulletin ordered? Was the warrant of arrest enough uh, to apprehend Alice Go upon sight? Um, what should have what should have happened there, uh, Senator? Unfortunately, all of these cases take time, um, Carmina, and that's why there's no official court order uh, to issue a whole departure order. There's a lookout bulletin, but the lookout bulletin basically just tells us that this person is at the airport and there's an attempt to leave the Philippines. But there's no 
uh, legal basis for the Bureau of Migration to hold uh, any of these individuals. And uh, because the, 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 the cases take time. Mm. And uh, that's why the immediate action in which I, we appreciate and thank the president was to cancel their passport so that uh, their travel and their movement will be limited. And eventually, um, the Bureau of Immigration of those countries will have a basis for uh, deporting these individuals because they can no longer uh, travel around the region. You know, for several um, for several times now, we've been able to speak with the lawyer of uh, Alice Ko, attorney Stephen David. First of all, he says that he believes that the client is still here um, because he just believes his client. Um, but he mentioned something that's quite um, curious. He said that if his client had told him that she was actually outside of the country already, then, may, then they're going to um, prepare for that and maybe seek political asylum. What's your thought on that? Well, there's no basis for Alice Ko to seek political asylum because he's not being politically prosecuted and persecuted here in the Philippines. There's no such. No? She's being uh, prosecuted because of the crimes that she committed because she was uh, a central figure in the human trafficking, the uh, prostitution, as well as scamming activities here in the Philippines. So there's no such thing as political persecution or prosecution here in the Philippines happening. So uh, that's, that's, that, that application will be instantly thrown out. Uh, on top of that, Irina, we also requested the CAAP because uh, the, the, there's a missing link between how um, Alice Go or Go Huaping flew to Malaysia or Indonesia. So the Senate requested from the CAAP all flights, all private flights, all chartered flights uh, from the Philippines going to Indonesia or Malaysia so that we will also look at the mode of uh, transportation that Alice Go um, engaged in when she left the Philippines. Is it is it enough for you to hear from the Bureau of Immigration Senator that um, obviously um, Alice Go left the country illegally? And therefore sort of, you know, washing their hands off of this matter because it wasn't through the legal channels that the dismissed mayor left the country. Is that enough for you? Is that enough of a, a reasoning? There's no basis to that, uh, Carmina, definitely. And uh, no one knows how uh, Alice Go left the country. And that's why we're now uh, asking government um, uh, agencies to supply su to supply us with information. Uh, there's a theory that she probably took uh, chartered flights, but even 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 if Alice Go took chartered flights, they need have to they need to file uh, for flight clearance and declare who are the passengers in that particular flight. And and your immigration will also come and um, uh, document those passengers who are leaving uh, the Philippines. So. Either way, um, the Bureau of Immigration will play a, in, a, a role in the departure of Alice Wu. Uh, Senator uh, Gachalian, with your indulgence, we're now showing our viewers um, pictures from, Indonesian, from Indonesia uh, showing Indonesian authorities accompanying Sheila Go and Cassandra Ong to the airport, presumably for their deportation. This is coming from the tweet of our correspondent Zian Ambrosia. This also um, sort of corroborates what uh, Secretary Abelos told us a while ago that, by end, that they are on their way back and that by end of day, Sheila Go and Cassandra Ong will be back here in the Philippines. And another um, piece of information there coming from our guest uh, currently, Senator Sherwin Gachalian, that uh, after processing, uh, Sheila Go will be um, sent directly to the Senate. Senator? That is the plan. Uh, I've already talked to the Senate Secretary and uh, already alerted him about this uh, deportation. And since the Senate has an outstanding arrest order over uh, uh, Sheila Go, uh, Sheila Go should be detained here in the Senate by the end of the day. All right. We're going to have to leave it at that. Senator Sherwin Gachalian, they're joining us live.